Let's go then, shall we? Hmm. What resources are there in the Arctic? Aluminum, metal foam, canned food, fish. Interesting. Okay. What? I don't know. Let's go. To the Arctic. Ice and snow. A rare sight nowadays. One you owe to the custodian's climate stabilization technology. I'm Dr. Howard Young. I speak for the Arctic Custodians. First, allow me to be clear. We expect you to abide by our directives at all times. The Arctic ecosystem is very delicate. Respect these rules and we'll get along just fine. Giant friggin' climate stabilization towers. All right. Not exactly a warm welcome. But let's just proceed with phase two. We need Arctic resources for rocket construction, so we have to establish a base of operations on one of these islands. Set uh, up your new location one looks wherever like you the right want. One. All of the islands are suitable. If you build a distribution center here, I can officially sign the island over to you. Oh. Please, some of the game just just, just crash. It's just loading, right? With the acquisition Good. of this <laughs> island, you earned right. the mining rights for this area. The Arctic Custodians will watch you like a hawk from now on. Their directives are strict, but you should adhere to them while building up your basic infrastructure. The heating standards alone will be a challenge. So, we still thankfully have a decent income coming in from uh, the temperate region, which is good. But... Access to heat source insufficient. Okay, so yeah. Sorry, my colleagues are kind of giving you the cold shoulder. Billy Jorgensen, nice to meet you. I run a trading post here, but business. Yeah, just consider dropping by, okay? Please. Const we'll keep an eye on everything here for you. Yeah. Okay. It requires aluminum. Is there heating? These systems are half the battle. Neuromodule factory. I don't really mind. Geothermal turbines. Transportation centers. Okay. Warning. Unfulfilled demand for specific consumer products. Considering we are all in the middle of a snowy desert, it's a decent life. Interesting. So we'll actually have to be able to import vitamin drinks, I suppose, from the temperate climate. All right. I also need canned food. Which consumes fish. Okay, and I assume... Yeah, fish require a coastal building site. I've never eaten real fish in my life. The polar regions are the only places on Earth where you can still find it in harvestable quantities. Hmm. Okay. As long as it stays like this, we'll manage to get by. We need narrow implants as well. That requires 75 protectors. I'm trying to figure out how to get, like, heat sources. I mean, it seems like heat sources is a big issue, but... That's okay. I'm back to the strategic map here. Ah, yes, loading screens. How about if I just set up a transfer route? Okay. Vitamin drinks. Spaceport expansion level too low. Oh. Okay. So I have to first. Why don't port. we get together and talk? I have something for you. Okay. Central sector. Loot. Thankfully, I'm playing this on an SSD drive, so yeah. I I, I really hope that the other things. Oh, is this, yeah, it's a. So this produces six aluminum. Enough for two of these. Ah. 
factories provide heat source. Interesting. Attention. Uh, Under provision of specific consumer goods detected. That, of course, changes the dynamic a little bit, I suppose. We, unfortunately, also can't seem to use any electricity or produce any electricity. Warning. Workforce too low to meet production quota. Yeah, I know. Warning. Energy scarcity. We need freaking metal foam or whatever. Sector balance is literally nil. Alright. Your production facilities give off enough warmth to heat your entire settlement, but without insulation materials, the effect would evaporate. Heat insulation. I I don't know. I have to figure that out. This has a positive sector balance now, yeah? Good. It'll take a little while, but like two minutes, but we'll get it at least. I suppose that's part of the problem, though. Enough. How much of this? So, why can't we upgrade it? Oh, we actually need 50 people. Jesus Christ. I didn't realize we needed 50 freaking people. That is... That is a lot. Actually. It's... Oh, hi. So what brings you here today? Like, we have 12 people right now. This is hard. Yeah, I get. I get. I guess how we have to do it. Have to sort of make villagers, I guess. All right. Yeah. This definitely is not suitable for like a capital city. We are not building an Arctic gap. This place is definitely a support facility at best. Fortunately, I need like 75 people before I can start importing goods to get more people. I think I only need 50 or so. You get my point. And without the ability to generate electricity, it's gonna be tricky. Okay, we need 25 people. We have 21 right now. Any way to reduce the workforce? Three people now, but we'll be soon. Eh, I fucked up. I didn't realize how all this sort of worked, right? Let's see. Work just never ends, eh? How much do we have in the storage? Like, can I turn this off for a little while? Not really, huh? We have five aluminum in storage, so that I can turn off, which makes everything else run at full freaking capacity. There we go. Uh, there we go. I like to see. Fine, your settlement seems to follow our regulations well enough. You are permitted to continue the expansion of your spaceport within reasonable limits. Well, that's exactly what's on the agenda right now. The Orbital Watch is still threatening the Union trade routes. You have to establish your own shipping docks at the spaceport. All right, good, good. So, we actually have enough uh, 
people now. Like, if I can get the drinks in here, maybe, uh, yeah, that'll help a lot, I think. It's true. Mankind can survive anywhere, even when it's hard. So that'll get us a, that'll pretty much, you know, get us a pile of extra people. Employees are freezing. <laughs> oh yeah, these are good. It requires a mountain building site. Ah, uh, I see. It's the only way to generate electricity up here. As far as I can tell. Their tidal abilities. It's okay for the moment. Alright. Activate the aluminum factory. This is, this is a rough start, I will say. Let's need to try and push this up. Just a little more. Once I can get the drinks in here and actually other resources, I think we'll stand a better chance. So let's start with that, shall we? Attention. Staff shortage. Slowing down production. Yeah, I know that. Alright, so apparently I guess we're not doing that. Alright. We'll find them. Do it our own way. That's extra people, which will speed up everything. Jeez, this is hard. True. Mankind. Good enough. We're really trying to put as many people down here as we can until we can get a hold of a freaking way to. I don't know. Anything. Anything, man. Like, th this is a bleak settlement. I'm Could not gonna lie. Jeez. Oh, this is bleak. Barely can get anyone here. Oh, has up to 10. That's good. Go. Six, five, we're getting there. Four, just a little more. Three. Everything's starting to speed up. You, you can't build a city in the traditional sense. Like, you can only really uh, set things up around production facilities, which is interesting. I don't really have an optimized way for building this. This was a curveball for me. So we're almost there. We don't have anywhere near enough person surplus, though, to build more factories. It's probably easier to ignore that for now and not worry about it. and get the settlement built up, I guess. Jeez. Is that 48? So we just need one more house. One house. That is it. Drop it right here, and we're done. That's it. Sort of huddles around the friggin' industrial buildings for warmth. Ugh. Alright. A good time to end the episode. I wasn't expecting it to go on this long, but jeez. Your Arctic settlement is growing at a steady pace. The staff requirements for your spaceport shipping docks should be met by now. <laughs> Kinda. If we've got staff requirements for the space port, I guess. Sure, why not? So, do we have the capabilities? Like, oh, 
the farther away you build something from the logistics network. Anything you build this close to the logistics network, though, like, I guess, actually doesn't come with a cost. Interesting. You do not... Oh, that's... Oh, that it's, that's the way it is, because it's not actually connected to anything. <laughs> so the farther away you build... Interesting. We have five logistics left, though. So, and I got that five logistics by making this up easier. Interesting. I never knew about any of that. I never paid much attention to logistics, really. I just thought it was a resource, like energy. Turns out it's a little more complicated, isn't it always, though? Alright, so is there any way I can hook up something, you know... Another aluminum mine, or not aluminum mine, compression chamber. That would cost all of our logistics. Not enough energy, not enough logistics, and oh yeah, not enough people. Just, just in case I uh, didn't get the message. Anyway, I'm getting into today's episode here. Thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely host, Kielman.